Hello everyone, Semrofs Gaming here, here to bring you episode 2 of The Walking Dead. We, where we last left off, we um, left Dog to die. Uh, what was the other choices? Sorry, I completely forgot. Uh, my choices. Oh, oops. Oh, well. Well, we last left off, we left Dog to die. Um, in place of Carly, we um, protected Kenny and his son while, um, what is it, the big hulking brute fucking bastard who I, who I tried to save in the, in last episode, also, um, tried to kick us out. I tried to save Sean, but he died before I could save him, and it was really disappointing. Now... Let's start episode two. Starved for help. And it'll probably say previously on The Walking Dead. And then, all that stuff I said will probably not matter. Yep. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. Oh, I can't believe he died. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. You, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. I'm sorry, Doug. Okay, Carway. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> son of a bitch. One of them is bitch. <sighs> it's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. I'm sorry, dog. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter, or you that punch me in the fucking face, so you. shut up. You watch your ass. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by the way you play. Dead zombie. they get this time uh, looks like a rabbit <sighs> well that's another meal lost <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months it seemed like so much at the time maybe you shouldn't have opened the door yeah except then I'd probably be food by now trust me I have no regrets uh, rabbits hardly a meal mark but I'd take it we're all hungry I still have no idea who this guy is. But then what do you expect? When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night. I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Well, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He punched me on my ass. 
He's just looking out for his daughter. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Oh, what does he spot? Oh, he's gonna kill the bird. Don't rest the noise. Got shadow bring walkers. Birds not work. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. No, 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 no! Don't let anything be wrong with Kenny. Bitten. Bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Wait, oh. 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 trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Shoot it. Shoot the. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh, you see us? So much blood already. Please hurry up. Please oh, no, do no, no, something. Stop. Oh God! Oh, please save him. Please get me out of this. I'm gonna have to cut this cut off his leg. Oh, I have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Let's go. Anything, let's go. Please. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, just cut up. Uh -huh. oh. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Oh now. my god. Come on. Now. Uh -huh. oh Shit. Is he? He passed out. Seriously? Oh my god. I know it's walking dead, but come on. Jeez. Disgusting.
suspense. Suspense. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what's going on? We have time to explain. Me? Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! Uh, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, no, your I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries. Um, no? Fine, you guys fight it out there. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. It doesn't matter who's out, in charge. Suddenly, I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. <laughs> Dad, please. <laughs> Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You feed the kids. Four for ten people. Oh, God. If I remember the episode from last time, if I talk to Carly, maybe she'll give me an energy bar. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let's talk to Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. 
I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Kami. Back in a bit. Mm, let's give Doc some food and Clementine food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Mm. Mm. Uh, here, have half the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay. Here's hey, a duck. duck. How about a little food? Uh, crackers and cheese. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Okay. More football. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Mm. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to them. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I did what I, I asked to do. Can save him. Ever miss the Air Force miss base? The Air Force base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lee's pretty well, pissed, at us. pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Okay, Jesus. Okay. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Well, you said he was all muscle. And he... he um, might get in good with him and Lily, so... Larry. Yeah, that should help. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just <laughs> need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Well, you can have the jerky then. But should I give that to... Let's give it to Kenny. Here, Larry. Yeah, the jerky. want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. No. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Give some to Kenny. Here you go. Want something to eat? Here. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Hmm. I know Mark and Lily won't. Well, Lily, hopefully. 
can't but Mark leave. definitely won't. Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? What the? Cuckoo, 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 eat. No, don't shoot it. Oh. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. What? It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. You just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Okay, we'll go. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, do you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Yeah, me as leader. They'd want me for leader. Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. 
because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. But I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's we a democracy. Group, all of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh, nine, including kids. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided Dad, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. You Ask knew we were hungry. Me. And you guys were keeping it up. Oh, my God. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? Moron. He ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and, and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> oh dear. What did he even do? The world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. You should probably take that crowbar. No, crossbow. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. As I said, I just assume that's a lot. get some solar panels or something. Those always last. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, yeah. that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest Lily. place. Lily. Now that y'all are here, uh, we'll make sure Mark. you're safe and comfortable. Yeah, Lily and Mark. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Shake fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. Oh, we can help you folks Christ. out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! 
Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Well, take, take that. this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along and take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. We can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. Cool. This place is incredible. It's yeah, it is. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure... No, we should do whatever we can to help her. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Okay guys, I'm going to leave the episode there. If you like this commentary in each channel, hit that like and that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment under the description below. And um, yeah. If you want any other games, well, I just already got, said comment. But if you want any other games, check out the comments in the description below. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe, repeating myself again. But anyway, this is Semrofs Gaming saying goodbye. Goodbye.